Why don't we talked about the, the valve, we talked about the controller a little bit, and we'll dive into that a little bit more. Why sure. don't we talk about a little bit more of uh, the system? Yeah, well, as you can see here, it's, it, there's a lot of moving parts, of course, but it is, uh, in the end, a standard transcritical booster system, yeah. which is the most standard system yeah. out there. Of course, there is quite a lot of stuff that was not here from the very beginning, yeah. because the very first systems were just booster systems, where we had just the LT compressors um, pumping basically into the MT compressors, and that was it. So we had the gas cooler, we had a high pressure valve, and we had the gas bypass valve. That was the most standard booster system there is. Um, that was working fine in colder climates. Um, then we wanted to move CO2 into warmer climates uh, in the beginning, let's say south of Europe. Yeah. Um, and then we run into issues because you're creating so much gas that needs to be taken out of the receiver here that you have too many empty compressors and it's not running efficient anymore. So let's talk about that. So how is that gas created? What, like, uh, so you're doing it in the cold climate, like Canada is real cold, you know what I mean? So CO2 systems were great there, but when it starts to get really warm, about 31 Celsius or 87.8, we get into that transcritical zone. Yeah. And so there's no pressure temperature relationship. And I was told that in the middle of the winter, you could use maybe three or four MT compressors, but in the summer, you may need 10. Yeah, and that, that, that's because of the, 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 you have less liquid coming back from uh, into your receiver. So you have so much gas here. So basically your empty pack is almost running solely on this receiver yeah. and that's uh, that's the whole problem and it's still running you still have a working system it's just not very efficient anymore yeah. and in those cases it was more efficient to have a four an r410a system instead of a co2 system yeah. which was not the point so we we had to come up with some uh stuff to to, to bring co2 into warmer climates one of the first steps was bringing in this, in this, this parallel compressor, okay. or as we call it, the IT compressor, yep. as in intermediate temp. Yep. Um, which so how is, does that work? That's, that's running, normally your receiver here is being kept on pressure by this um, gas bypass valve. So this valve is opening and closing, and of course, as you can see, it's taking gas from the receiver going back into the empty compressors. Okay, yeah. So these empty compressors, they are norm run, normally running on, let's say, minus eight, minus 10 Celsius. So then you're keeping a receiver, which is running on 40 bar, which is around plus five. Yeah. Um, hey, I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you got something out of it, something that you can use in your daily life. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and click the bell button because when you do click the bell button, it will notify you anytime new videos are released. Also, check out the Refrigeration Mentor webpage at refrigerationmentor.com where I'll have all the different trainings, upcoming events, the different podcasts I've been on, as well as the Refrigeration Mentor podcast. If you want to check that out on Apple, Spotify, Google, any service provider of your choice. Super excited to see you at the next video. Now let's get a conversation going.